Welcome back to my Cinder Shadows walkthrough for Fire Emblem Three Houses. We are covering the fourth battle, which is a harrowing escape. And this is going to be very different from your typical battles, so I suggest paying attention. But before you do anything, and I cannot stress this enough, please go to the marketplace. Replenish your battalions. Rep repair any weapons that you need, because this is not the time to be going around thinking, oh, there's nothing I can do because my weapons broke. If your weapons are breaking, repair them. Better, forge them to something better, but no matter what, don't walk around the map with broken weapons. Just don't. I'm actually going to take my own advice and start repairing some of my own weapons. You've gotten a pr you must at least have gotten a pretty sizable amount of smithing stones by now. If you haven't been using them, start using them. And if you think, oh, but they're so precious, I need to save them for an emergency. It, again, they don't carry over, and this is one of the few maps that I would highly suggest just upgrading all of your equipment for if you haven't already been doing so. Because you're not going to get pretty far if you're holding back your resources. Most of the enemies you're going to encounter are going to be phantom soldiers and golems that chase you. But, I won't elaborate too much farther. Let's start this mission. So the victory conditions are not to defeat all the enemies, but to get all of your units to the target destination. Your defeat conditions, any of your units fall in battle or 10 turns pass. But the 10 turns pass is slightly misleading because you actually can't finish this battle in 10 turns. I'll explain what it means though. The enemy's caught up to us. If we try to go up against it, we're finished. That thing's worse than what we saw at the chasm. Looks strong enough to flatten me. Me, of all people. Well, that's just to illustrate the strength of that golem. <sighs> the gate! Even I won't be able to force it open. <laughs> this is bad. There's more where that came from, too. Come on, let's go. Now. Right. Now oh I believe this to be a shortcut, but the way seems closed. Who wants to do us a favor and pull the lever? Though you might get left behind. Right. Now this is where you want to get your units to. All your units must be here to count as the mission success. And by the way, you can't lose a single unit here. You're not allowed to have anybody die. Oops as per the combat conditions. Any of your units fall in battle, you lose. So the good news is, is that you can't afford a, that everyone's going to have to survive, so you don't have to worry about a KO. Unfortunately, that means everybody has to survive. But, as you might have surmised, your path is going to look something like this. Or you go through here and up here. There's just simply no way to get there within 10 turns none of your characters will ever have the movement tiles in order to complete that in 10 turns. Especially not when you consider you have to open some of the doors with levers. For example, you have to open this gate with a lever and have all of your units make it to that square. To those, to those uh, light blue squares, I mean, on the upper right hand corner of the map. But you're going to achieve this mission through checkpoints. For example, this is really where you have to get your units to after 10 turns pass. If you don't, you will fail the mission. But then, that just keeps repeating itself. You just have to get your units to these checkpoints within 10 turns. Uh, that's all you need to do. Now, you will notice that anybody who gets here, this lever, will not be able to make it to through this gate very easily because they'll have to spend a few turns going up and around it. 
Stay but enough about that. I'll just show everyone how we're getting through. So first things first, as Balthus and Hilda have just mentioned, uh, not Hilda, Edelgard have just mentioned, you really do not want to be fighting that golem. It has very powerful defenses. And look at its dexterity. It's, what, 62. And while that normally wouldn't be bad, let's not forget that it's... Magic is at a high 49, and it has lethal uh, lethality, which will trigger a lot with a dexterity of 62. And if you somehow manage to damage even further, it is quick riposte, or however, however you pronounce it, and that will allow it to follow up to get guaranteed follow up attacks with you. While your characters will not be able to follow up, do follow up attacks against it. Oh, and uh, did I mention? Uh, not only can, has it, does it have the commander buff, which is the usual for boss units. You also, it will also heal itself of twenty percent of max health, at max HP at the start of every turn. Which means, do I not it, defeating it is not only going to be an attack in and of itself, but it's also just not worth it. It's simply not worth the effort. Ready and willing. That being said, don't yep. don't be stupid. You are going to have to fight a couple of units around the map. Now, I do note that there's a door here that can be opened with a door key, or surprise, surprise, Ooh, someone me. with the lock touch ability. Sure thing. So I'm actually going to have Yuri be the guy who opens the door. That golem will just progressively move up every few turns. There's nothing you can do about that. Don't forget who you're dealing. Luck is on. Now, I'm gonna have Yuri open that gate. And he's gonna have to spend the next turn just out of... Well, he, he just can't move right now. I'll get rid of the Phantom Soldier and happy continue to move down. Constance is going to finish off our little Phantom Soldier Assassin so he doesn't... So he doesn't backstab us. Let's move very much forward. Ash will take out our Phantom tough. Soldier. And that's enough that's enough for our assailants. Let's see. Dimitri can go in forward. And I'll have him take out some of the magic users. Claude's not going to be have that reach. Hail Guard will move forward as much as possible. Linhart will be at the edge. Now there's a reason why I sent uh, Yuri to the front lines, and that will become apparent very soon. There will be units trying to attack you from the rear, but that's not too important. Woo! Dodged that bullet. Yeah, the javelin's not very good for attacks in general, is it? Right. Now that Yuri opened the door... Actually, I'm gonna have him wait on the stairwell to have some room. Now that Yuri opened the door, without needing a key, he's just been able to rejoin our team. As expected. Now to cut down on the amount of time I have to spend on this. Okay. As usual, Happy and Constance, our magic users, will take down 
the Fortress Knights. Because I really don't, we, none of us have the time to waste. I'm actually going to heal up Dimitri. And I won't have him break across just yet. See why I'm doing this in a, just a little bit. The real, really, and I, and this should come to no surprise to anybody. The character you have to worry the most is actually Edelgard because of her low speed, movement speed, I should say. Everybody else is actually pretty mobile, but as you might expect from a, a fortress knight, well, they don't move very fast at all. Now, you don't have to worry because that golem won't be able to catch up with you, but just keep it just look at how at how it's guaranteed to basically kill Ash. All right. But that's not the point here. Edelgard will move up as much as she can. I'll have Byleth reach the very center. I'm not moving anyone right up the stage just yet. And again, I promise you there will be a very good explanation for why that is. But for now, it's more important that everybody else gets out and into position. Oop. He's under attack by somebody. Don't want that to Ready and willing. Right. Now I have six turns to make it. But as you might expect, I've got another gate to open. Stay focused. Now I'll just have Byleth move her way down. Message over there is blocked too. I believe the controls for it are on the other side. But the moment you do so, I'll cut through. Well, another enemy gets activated. And normally this wouldn't be such a big deal, but as you might guess. Yep. Reinforcements are going to start coming in real soon. This is why I didn't want all the, want the characters to just wait around until it was too late. I wanted them to be able to move and safely get through before it was too late. Fortunately, it looks like I can't guarantee everybody's safety just yet. To use foul play and get Linhart to safety. Adorable. All right. Now here's the good news. My characters are, are actually safe right now. The bad news is the moment Yuri and Edelgard or any all of your units make it past that those blue squares, that's when reinforcements start coming in. So if you can avoid that. Actually. I screwed that up. I'll cut through. You can avoid that. That makes things significantly easier because now everyone can make or break. 
can make a break for sure it. Thing. As usual, Edelgard will run through. Yuri will make it through. And the gates will shut. It really close, didn't it? Good thing we made it through in time. Keep moving. That was just the first of these things. And as you can see, reinforcements came, and these will be the new reinforcements that are chasing you from now on. The reason why I had Dimitri activate that lever yep. wasn't just because I was being lazy, but was because <laughs> I wanted the lever to be activated without people inconvenienced, without being inconvenienced by the potential threat of reinforcements. Unfortunately, there was there's simply no getting around the fact that Ready and Dimitri is going to get bombarded a little bit, but because he's the most mobile, one of the most mobile units, he should be all right. Uh oh. Here we have a team of bandits to make life harder for us. These bandits are disgusting. No idea. Shame. Now, it looked like that golem wasn't moving, but again, you really don't want to get into a position where you find out that it is chasing after you. And these reinforcements will just spawn. So there's not much you can do. Now, there is a healing tile for a little bit of, uh, of respite, but again, you don't want to spend too much time here. Too much time and you probably lose sight of what's really important, which is getting out. Shouldn't weather the storm, huh? Now, Yuri... is gonna open that... the door. But also be aware, because if I'm skipping some of the enemies here, they will come back and try to bite me. But this is a mission about speed. Which means I'm not too concerned, in all, re in all honesty. Now this mage is going to cause a lot of problems, because Ragnarok is a powerful... Uh, you may or may not have seen it, but it, that mage had Ragnarok, which is going to really hurt. Weakening it and putting Happy on a tile is probably the best defense I, can, I have against it right now. can have a character move through here, but I, I, I don't recommend it. Actually, it's rare instances where I'm going to use bolting. Yeah. Or not. It didn't work. Oh, well. It's okay. She's standing on a healing tile. That will provide the bulk of events. Those reinforcements will just keep coming through. So again, it's not wise to keep spending time here. The good news, though... Sorry, but it is mine. 
Now, those units are just going to appear as you get closer. Don't worry about it. Everything is still under control. Now, I'm going to have my units make their way forward anyway. Same deal with Constance. I'm not going to use any more uses of bolting. No one is in need of a serious heal. But Dimitri is going to have to take down our little phantom soldier if we're going to get out safely. I must... See if I can finish that guy off with my sow. Doesn't make a difference. Then iron bow it is. And I miss. This is just not my day. Not the point. But again, we should all. We should, everything is still pretty much in control. I expected that to happen. And again, that's one of the other reasons you don't want this battle to drag on too long. You really cannot afford. To have those units at your back for extended periods of time it is much, it is much better to have those units. Get all your units through that small little door, then to continue fighting. Balthus is unfortunately never going to make it in time. Edelgard is, as always, way too slow to do much of anything else, which means I'm going to have to cover her tracks. It's not luck, it's fate. I am going to send Armor Slayer to the convoy. I don't have much use for it. Okay, I am going to have to do a bit of unfortunate backtracking here. Who's next? Because I don't want a super powered magic user at my back. Should I have held back? Yuri can go back and heal because he still has enough time. As I've mentioned before, reinforcements will still come in, so don't spend too much time. Now, once you cross this, these blue tiles, you will have more problems, but one step at a time. One step at a time. It's not. There's no point bombarding you when you're not ready for the news. Oh, 
As always, just get everybody through the door. Get everybody through the door. There's simply no bigger priority than that. I'll give it my all. And I'm gonna wait a turn. Bandits and the Phantom Soldiers will fight each other, which is perfect. I really don't care. I just want my units to be safe. Now, you might say, hey, but this guy has a bullion. Why don't you take it from him? I don't have that much time. And it's simply not worth it in the long run. Eight of guard cross. And now, units will come in. Now here, this is a very interesting mission, uh, not mission, set of circumstances. Because the more units that cross, the more reinforcements that are going to come. Is, you know, you'll see what happens when I move Dimitri up. There we go. The armored unit comes in. If I move happy. Rally up Dimitri. Assassin drops in. This is this is what I meant by you want to. J I got this is why I gathered everybody before the blue squares, and then proceeded, because otherwise I'm just I just have a lot of enemies to deal with, and you don't really have a choice to face them eventually. But there's no reason I have to overload myself with everybody at once. Sorry. Plus, characters like Ash, Constance are still capable of fighting from range. Still, I'm going to prepare units just to move up. Because we're going to we're still we still have to get everybody out. Already we have to fight. But if I don't have to trigger every single op opponent, then that's good enough for me. Don't worry about this, if it happens, just let the phantom enemies get distracted. I really do not care. That was tough. My main priority is everybody getting out. Did he just miss? How are we doing that? Ready and willing. Curved shot, so I can break. That's the golden deer for you. I will prevail. Old guard, move up. Helm split. I don't need to do that. I already have the helm splitter. Buy me just more, enough time as yep. it is. No I'll come through. Moved up. I must stay focused. That's an assassin down. Thing. Now I continue to bring everybody up, and I'll end my turn. Seriously, I've had that many enemies charge, and they still got their butts handed to them. That should just tell you how how strong that golem is, and why you don't want to get into a fight with him.
I'll continue its pursuit of you, but by now, I'm in a good enough fighting condition just to get people through these doors. Yeah, more units gonna come in, but by now I've got a fighting force that's strong enough to make sure that it doesn't become a serious problem. Never underestimate an outsider. Since that spellcaster is inevitably gonna become a problem. Dimitri will come in you and take care of it. I really would not be worried that someone it feels like someone's getting overpowered. That's really not the priority here. Benchy. Didn't you hear? I'm dangerous. Now we shift. to make it and we'll end our turn here lucky dodge with Dimitri Can move my final unit through. Everyone behind me disappears. The gate closes. Hurry, everyone! No time to dawdle. The final reinforcement is through, and I'll move the hardest unit in the game to move, Edelgard, to center stage. up. Constant use her final cast of bolting to weaken that bandit. Um, okay. And hopefully Dimitri is not so inaccurate that he can- oh goodness. I may have to reconsider this. Ready and willing. There we go. It's not luck, it's fate. Progress. I'll cut through. And that's everyone I'll accounted for. Now I just move everybody up. I won't even worry about healing at this point. Everyone is already through. I can't I mean I can if I want. But it's not. It's not important for long. Quite helpful. What is important is that I have enough time for all for all the units to get through before the gates close. It is was and is going to be the most challenging person to get to this. Part of the map. Of course, Linhart would be tricky too under normal circumstances, but he will move a lot faster than Edelgard in the long run. Alright. I have three turns left, but that's plenty of time. I'll just have to get 
uh, Lin, not Edelgard, Linhardt come in. Yuri moved to our blue tile. Wait. <laughs> that takes care of that. And last but not least. And the mission is completed. That is the harrow a harrowing escape walkthrough. Really, the biggest challenge in this map is just to not combine the right mix of speed and strategy, because you're going to have to take out some enemies in order to make it safe for everyone to move through the gates. Make sure that w whenever you're looking at the checkpoints, don't rush everyone through right away. Just get a few people past the checkpoints first, just to trigger some enemies, because the moment you trigger you move everyone past a checkpoint, all the enemies start rushing in. But if you stick together, keep a cool head, and remember to take out enemies as they appear, especially towards the end of the map, you should be fine. That is the end of this video walkthrough. If you enjoyed this video, please do subscribe to this channel. There will be more videos like this in the future. Until then, I will see you in the next battle for the Cinder Shadow side story.